In the enchanting region of northwestern Europe lies the country known for its iconic windmills, vibrant tulip fields, and progressive society, the Netherlands. This name comes from its geographical location, situated below sea level, which gives it a unique and peculiar landscape. An interesting curiosity about the Netherlands is the typical snack called herring, a raw herring. This small fish is served whole and raw, often accompanied by onions and cucumbers. To enjoy it, the Dutch have the custom of holding the fish by the tail and savoring it whole, relishing its unique flavor and slippery skin. Another remarkable characteristic of this charming nation is the tradition of basing their lunches on bread, always accompanied by some delight. The Dutch enjoy various combinations with bread, making the meal a unique and diversified experience. Moreover, the Netherlands is world famous for its love of bicycles. With more bicycles than inhabitants, this means of transportation is widely used throughout the country. With over 29,000 kilometers of well-developed bike lanes, it is possible to cover any distance by bike, even on long journeys. The city of Amsterdam, for example, has an impressive 881,000 registered bicycles, demonstrating how deeply rooted this cycling culture is in the country. The Netherlands is a remarkable country known for its unique geography, characterized by being flat and without mountains. About one-third of its territory is situated below sea level. The highest point in the country is the Valserberg, rising to 323 meters above sea level, located in a famous region called Drielandenpunt, where the borders of Germany and Belgium meet. Due to its flood-prone topography, the Netherlands has adopted ingenious measures to protect its low-lying areas. Large dikes have been constructed over the years, forming an efficient network of protection against floods. Additionally, land has been artificially elevated to increase the amount of solid ground available. The world's largest dike, known as the Afslut Dike, or Great Water Barrier, stretches an impressive 32 kilometers and has a width of 90 meters. Located between the province of North Holland and the province of Friesland, this dike is one of the greatest achievements of Dutch engineering and plays a crucial role in safeguarding the country against the forces of nature. Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands, although the government is headquartered in The Hague, located in the western part of the country. The Hague is where the Parliament and the Nordeinde Palace, where King Willem Alexander carries out his official activities, are situated. The Dutch flag consists of the colors white, red, and blue. However, the official color of the country, used in the national football team's uniforms and national celebrations, is orange. This color is associated with the Dutch royal family, known as the House of Orange. Windmills are iconic symbols in the Netherlands and can be found throughout the country. Nowadays, many of these windmills have become tourist attractions or even private residences, although there are still about 1,000 of them in operation. Unfortunately, the Netherlands is ranked among the countries with the highest cancer rates in the world, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer. This is an important issue that requires continuous attention to research and medical care. The Netherlands is famous for having one of the highest rates of coffee and beer consumption in the world. Drinking coffee or enjoying a cold beer at any time is a common practice, and some companies even allow beer consumption during working hours. Another distinctive feature of the Netherlands is the passion for tulips. These flowers were brought from the Ottoman Empire in the 16th century and have since become national symbols. The country is home to the world's largest tulip park, where about 7 million tulips bloom manually, attracting tourists from all over the world. Interestingly, New York was a Dutch colony called New Amsterdam in 1625. However, in 1664, the city was conquered by the English and renamed New York. King's Day is the main holiday in the Netherlands, dedicated to celebrating the monarchy. On this festive day, the country is filled with markets, performances, and shows to commemorate this special event. Dutch women are known to prefer practical clothing over extravagant attire. This is influenced, in part, by the culture of extensive bicycle use in the country. Dressing in chic clothes and high heels while cycling in the rain is not very practical, so practical and comfortable fashion prevails among Dutch women. Dutch women place special value on meaningful and deep discussions, 
rather than superficial conversations. They often approach dating directly, not hesitating to ask personal questions or express opinions on complex subjects. In relationships in the Netherlands, gender equality is an important value, and splitting the bill is something common and well accepted. An interesting characteristic is that many Dutch women prefer not to cook and opt for quick meals or takeout instead of preparing homemade meals. Asking your Dutch partner to cook for you, even if you have cooked for her before, may receive a negative reaction. Contrary to some other cultures, holding the door open for women in the Netherlands is not considered a gesture of chivalry. In fact, it's better to let the door close in front of them, as it may be interpreted as a sign of integration into Dutch society. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Comment below which country you'd like to see in the next video. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next content.